What is going on y'all, it's your boy Young Twan and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm gonna show y'all how to make some samples like Boy Wanda, Cardo Got Wings, and kind of like that Des Wright Q Beats type of sound. Pretty similar to some of the Des Wright and Drake production and uh, also some hard Boy Wanda, Cardo type of uh, drums. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight to it. So first we're gonna start by deconstructing the melody. So first what I did, I opened up Analog Lab and I picked this Ariana Chords preset from the Jupiter 8. It's from a loophole bank. And I laid down these chords, so without any effects, it sounds like this. I laid down uh, these chords, you see it's very repetitive. So really how I did that, I just, let me just solo that. Uh, you're gonna hear the chords. Uh, the chords are very simple, it's the same chord right here. I just changed the third uh, right here. Uh, so yeah, it sounds like this. And I just, uh, you know, had a different chord in the last uh, half. And then I just copied the notes and the chords uh, to build the top melody. And I just came up with something catchy. Um, yeah, which sounds like this. Let me solo that. So yeah, that's pretty much the main foundation for the whole sample. Uh, and then with some effects for this particular sound, I have a fab filter cutting these frequencies right here I didn't like. I have also this outer space plugin. Now this is a uh, emulation of the, um, it was a very, very famous uh, delay uh, type of uh, hardware. It's, it was made by Roland, I forget what it was called, the Roland Space Echo, I think it's called. And this is a great emulation uh, from audio thing. Uh, I use this dark verb preset, turning down some of the mixing and some of the knobs right here. Turn down the mixing to like 20%. And then I use this Good Hertz Wolf compressor just to compress it a bit, glue it a bit more together. And uh, turning down the compression and the lo-fi and the wow a little bit, just so that it's not as harsh. And then finally, another fab filter this, uh, to cut this frequency that was very harsh. And this is what it sounds like now. So it just sounds more present, more, you know what I mean, present. Uh, then I went into Analog Lab again. I've been really messing with the Analog Lab uh, loophole banks, the really good banks. And I picked this easier preset again from the loophole bank and I just copied the same, um, the same MIDI and without any effects, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, this time more like a pluck sound. Uh, then I added this half time on it. Uh, I actually did something pretty interesting. I automated this smooth knob right here. Um, so it, it, it changes between the swell mode that you get all the way to the right right here and uh, the effects uh, uh, mode right here. It just kind of just changed between. Uh, here's the automation actually right here if, I, if you want if I want to play it. it. Sounds like this. So yeah, it just gives it some cool movement. Then I added this delay tape tool one. This is another emulation of the Space Echo uh, from Arturia. I was just experimenting to see which one I like the best between the, the two. Um, I used this double echo reverb um, and I turned down the mix knob to about like 30% or something like that. And then again, a good Hertz Wolf compressor with even lower settings, lower lo-fi, lower compression. Um, and yeah, it sounds like this now. very ambient this one is more in the back rather than the one that was more in the front so yeah next up I opened up analog lab again and I picked this maniac uh, preset from the loophole this one is an arpeggiated uh, preset actually so if I turn off these effects it sounds like this now I thought that was a bit too hectic uh, so I added this half time and uh, at, with just the standard settings. Added this Clever, it's a reverb plugin from Clavground. It's pretty good reverb, I recommend you guys get it. Um, I also opened up this guitar rig right here. It doesn't really do anything. I yeah, I just, did, I just uh, use the standard uh, settings. It just adds a bit more uh, chorus effect in a way. And then this Fab Filter EQ cutting the lows out and this is what it sounds like now.
So it sounds really hard. It's very ambient. It gives the sample a bit more movement, a bit more rhythm. Uh, so that was cool. And finally, I ended up going in arcade and picking this Fleeting Mind Bank. And uh, I just found this sound right here that I thought was really cool. So yeah, it was very dry, but I really liked the sound of it, so I decided to add some effects to it. I used this Valhalla Room. I can't open it right now because I don't know why it won't open. Uh, but it was just standard settings. Maybe turn down the mix knob so it isn't as harsh. I added this back mask uh, plugin. This does like some really cool, like it's like portal, but just way kind of worse in a way. It only does like the reverse um, effect, um, but it's really cool. I really like it, so I turned the mix down to like very low five six percent uh, just so it isn't as harsh i use this uh, stereo one imager from waves just to make just to stereo widen it and put it in both ears uh in eq cutting the lows out and this frequency right here i didn't really mess with i then added a shaper box uh i can't it won't open as well um but it's an automation in the panning as you see right here uh just to make it pan from like right to left but i turned the mix down so it's not as strong uh, another EQ cutting the lows out and an effect rack with this liquid vibe preset turned the mix down to like 7% and this is what it sounds like now. Oh yeah, I forgot to say I also added this Valhalla Vintage Verb uh, with this preset, the ambience play preset turning down the mix to under 50% and this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, once all of that was done, I bounced uh, most of the elements out and I also added this uh, uh, percussion loop right here. I think it's from Splice and it sounds like this. And then I added a bunch of effects. I mean a bunch, I didn't add a bunch of it, but I added this fab filter to uh, band, I added this band pass now preset just to cut the highs on the lows, keep really like a thin um, segment of the frequencies. Uh, another uh, EQ just cutting this harsh frequency. And I also added an outer space with the dark verb preset again, turning out the mix knob. Uh, so this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, then after it was all about rendering all the sounds, all the individual sounds, I just added some more effects on the lead sound. I added a good Hurst low high, um, just to cut some of the uh, high frequencies. Um, I turned the mix down to 26%, so it's very subtle. And I added this good Hurst wow control to add a bit more coloring and a, a bit of saturation and a bit of tiny, a very, very tiny bit of detune. Um, and then I just bounced the whole sample out and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, for the master effects, if you want to call it master effects, I added a Goodhurst Wow Control just to add a bit of detune. I used this Good Cassette preset. I really like this preset. I also turned the coloring knob uh, very high. Uh, I used a spin. This is a plugin from Clevgrand. I turned the mix down to about 8%. I used this uh, default preset. I then used a uh, Abbey Road vinyl, like it's like a tape emulation from Waves. Um, just with the standard um, default presets, uh, just turn down this cartridge and turntable mode to DJ and turn down the noise and crackle by a lot. And then finally an EQ, uh, just to cut some of the lows, you can actually see the noise of the Abbey Road vinyl right here. And uh, yeah, so that's the sample. And then finally I added the drums. So the drums sound like this. And then the 808 pattern sounds like this.
So yeah, it's very, very simple, very repetitive, just to put it all in context right here. This is what it sounds like. I took out the hi-hats. For the mixing of the drums, I didn't do anything. I just leveled everything, used uh, an EQ on the 808 to cut the highs, and then a soft clipper on the master. And that's it, really. That's all you need to know. So thanks a lot for watching if you made it this far. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you could take a couple things away from this video. Make sure to run up my Instagram. The link will be in the description right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.